invisible here. <laughs> it's very invisible. <laughs> nah. So, oh, <laughs> good morning, guys. So, for the today's vlog, we're going to start to do or continue the other project that we started on the other side. The walk there. over the Yeah, let's, let's just focus there. Okay, the butter. Yeah, that's good. Even better. Okay, so how do you wanna do the corner? Oh, wait, where were we? Because the battery just died, so I don't know where we were. So we're going to do this paneling in the living room as well. So what we need to make a decision on is if we, go, if we bring this border all the way up to the ceiling or we should stop underneath the top piece. I think we should stop under the top piece. Or why, why are we thinking about it? Because over there it made a huge difference in the opening. It's kind of like more finished and it's not this kind of like... Basic, yeah. yeah it's not right. as basic look, so it adds a little, a little bit more depth. But over here we have such a big opening, I don't think it's necessarily. Yeah. No, no so I don't think so. Stop there. And we are also thinking to add a little shaft all the way along. And then we were thinking just to add on one wall or on the other one. So we're gonna go with both because we might gonna go around in this. Oh, what Come on, give me a hand. Put in my hair. Oh my god. Come on, give me a hand. It was a bacon in my hair. I had a solid bacon in my hair as I, I was talking. Okay, so I don't know how much you guys can see it, but actually I painted this wall to a slightly different color. And to be honest, it doesn't really show. So it wasn't the best choice. So I'm still going to play around with that. I kind of like it with the white color as well, but might be it would be nice to add some kind of a light color to it. So I'm thinking about it. We don't want to take away the light, especially the winter it's coming. So we're not going to have that much sunshine. So we have to go with something that is light, but I still want to add some warmth to this room. But the oranges are doing a nice job. I really like uh, the wooden pieces and the orange color it definitely adds an extra warmth. How about this layout guys? I really like it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So you can see now the space over here. We have a really tall wall, which I love. I really love this airy feeling of it, but I want to make it more cozy since we're sitting here in this area and this board will bring down to the eye level. So basically your eyes will just go on that board. That will help us to create a little bit more closer atmosphere to the couch and it's going to be more cozy. And also the shaft that we're going to create on the top, that will give me an additional option how to decorate for each season or if I want to have a decoration at all. We're going to see that how it works out, but it's going to be definitely a nice space <laughs> to put extra nails and junks there as well, because I can already see it will happen. <laughs> Something is flat, it will attract things, but I'm really looking forward to, especially the Christmas time, when I can put some greenery up there or maybe some tea candles. I don't know. It's just endless possibility for that. Oh, maybe string light. Oh, that's going to be nice too. Uh-huh. I was better with the time. Top molding. Top molding. Top molding. I'm not gonna put it Yeah, like that. <laughs> you can go down and then. So, yeah. I got a hiccups. Sorry. <laughs> if I if I cut it longer, I'm gonna waste half of half of the plywood sheet. Oh, you can do that. It's much much easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I am back at the kitchen again because I have to bake some cakes. We are gonna go to a birthday party. Actually, I'm going to take my boys to a birthday party. I'm going to stay with them, but because they have so many food allergies and just intolerances general, I always, always take some cake. And most of the times I'm the one who takes the cake, but sometimes they are really nice and they just provide something. But just in case, if you know that is something that they still cannot eat because there's some ingredients in there i just always like to have a backup so i want to be sure i'm going to make some in worst scenario we're going to eat it in the car on the way back it won't be a problem but i just want to have something with us for sure so i have some eggs and i'm going to use some cocoa powder and maple syrup what else oh so a little bit of almond flour I'm doing it wrong. I need to put this in the Vitamix because I wanna add some beans to it and that's the one that will mix it. Oh shoot, now I have to wash this. Oh. Okay, so now I'm going to use these silicone molds, but I also am going to line them with some paper. So, for two reasons, it's gonna be easier to clean. One, two, I'm not sure how safe is to use silicone for baking. I have a cake shape that I've been using for a very long time. That's the only exception. I like to use that one so make sure I can make a cake shape. But if it's about muffins, it's very easy to just use these little papers. And yeah, so it's gonna be easier. And also if I'm taking it away from home, I don't have to be afraid that I'm going to forget to bring these back because I can just take it out with the paper. But I also love these silicone molds instead of the big tray because I use this tray every single day, but I don't have to keep an additional one with the muffin shapes and I can just stack them and store them that way so it's easier to store and also i can use this as a divider if i'm packing lunch or something or i can put the supplements in there and just serve it in there in the morning so i have endless possibilities how to use that If you pour out to a shape that is hard to control because you're using a bigger amount and you're using a smaller shape, I like to use the spoon to, as, as a break. <laughs> it helps me to slow down the pouring and just lift it over without dripping. When we are doing projects like that, we definitely want to share more on the practical side, like what to look out for, how much is the cost and all those details, but since it takes a lot more time to record that way, I mean, I can record it, but it would be a very, very long video. That's why we were thinking to have a separate channel for Joat, where he can more just um, talking about more about this part of this kind of projects. I'm not saying this is gonna be the first video there. I'm just telling you what our goal with the other channel is, is something where we can go in more depth uh, on the how to. Like with this plywood, like there's some good side of it, it's cheaper, but there's some downside of it with the paint, it soaks up way more, you still have to sand that. So we wanna put this all in. It came out perfectly, especially yeah. with the outlet. It's just... Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going to warm up some lunch and we have some chicken taco and I have some rice. So to simplify things, I'm just going to warm up this rice with the chicken taco and we're just going to mix that together. It's really good, we really like it. And somebody asked me a long time ago, so I don't know if that person is still watching my channel, but somebody was asking me how we warm up food without um, microwave. So most of the time if it's something bread or something that is frozen and it's a, a bigger chunk, we just put it into the oven and if we have this pot and I just like to put the amount in there that we're going to eat and add a little bit of a water, not that much, I just filled it up that much because I didn't pay attention I was talking but just only a little bit of water just to get the steam going so as the steam starts to come up into the food it will warm it up and when I use a lid that's it it's very simple but I'm going to show you although I have to admit that neither of us are super hungry because my head is not even in there because we just had this huge breakfast and we kind of ate late but I'm going to warm it up because we have to leave to the birthday party really soon and I really want my boys to make sure that they eat before we leave. First I'm going to put the rice in there, warming, teeny tiny water, this one in there as well. And basically that's it. The only thing that you should remember never leave the kitchen because when I do that, I burn down things. But I stopped using microwave about, I would say maybe 13 years ago, and we don't miss it at all. And I can warm up any kind of food, it's not a problem. And one reason why we wanted to avoid the microwave, because obviously it was space issues in my previous kitchen, but before where we lived, we had a built-in one yet we didn't use that because when you use the microwave it basically it kills all the nutrition in there and all the good things that that could nourish you so that's why we don't mainly use the microwave and also it has some radiation too when you use it so I don't know if how accurate is that but I want to be safe then sorry so and it's just simple I think this is something we can live easily without the washing machine is a different story. I could not live without a washing machine. Okay, so we're trying to figure it out if we should use a shelf on it or not. I, I think I really like it. Over there looks better. Over here I'm not sure. Let's go a little farther. I, I mean, I, I can't know. Go farther because so this is the flat one. And this is with the shop. So far Jot is not voting so. against. Do you have a shaft up there? Yeah, but over enough. here you want the shaft. I like the shaft over here because this is going to function as a sitting area. So we'll, we have a couch over here. You,
we are starting with some primer and then jod put in some kind of paint that is not a wall paint um so <laughs> see that's why he needs his own channel because i don't know what he used but basically something that has kind of like a not so shiny look of it but it's still easy to clean and it basically just makes a more smooth surface So we are talking about this area with Jod that we should move this shaft and just create the similar, exactly the same height and design over there than over here and we would just put the hooks on that. There's no screw in there! Out and it's still up there. My knees will open. Oh, don't, don't, not there. Yeah. What? No, 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 no. Just stop. Yeah. Same thing. I see the shoulder, I think I was a bit Ah. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Okay, so I really like this white paint. If we're gonna go with a little bit lighter beige, that's gonna be nice too. But also I am thinking to replace these knobs. It's only six of them, so it shouldn't be bad, but maybe something that is more, I don't know, just a little bit different than this one. You are going to see the result very soon and I really love how it turned out. Let me know what you think you like it white or you like it better with some light color maybe behind it. So we are still figuring it out so far. I really like this white color. You will see how nice against the coach it just really pops out. Okay guys, so I haven't pulled back the table yet, but I just wanted to show you how it looks like. Let me turn off this light so you can see more. This is how it looks like and eventually I want to replace those knobs and I put a basket over there with some blankets, but overall I'm really happy with the situation over here. I really like the couch now. I think it just brings it down more and it's more cozy and it just added some texture to the wall so maybe i'm going to work on to figure out how to style this area so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys soon bye